This is Teton Valley, Idaho. In this video, we're gonna explore the towns of Driggs and Victor, along with all of beautiful Teton Valley. I've had the amazing opportunity to spend at least a part of every summer here my entire life, often with this pupper. And unfortunately, this is my last long-term stay or visit for a while. So this is the western side of the Teton Range. Grand Teton National Park and Jackson Hole are on the other side and it's a little more chaotic and expensive over there. Most visitors don't bother coming over the Teton Pass to visit Teton Valley, Idaho, but there's plenty of awesome places to visit and things to do. This is the entrance to Huntsman Springs, which has recently changed ownership and probably won't be under that name much longer, but it's a super rich golf resort that was developed by John Huntsman. It's a nice place to walk and they have some cool rustic buildings. That's a replica of the Star Commercial Trading Post that was in Jackson, Wyoming back in the early days. Beneath the American flag, this vintage fire truck displays the forest fire warning levels for the day. And this unsuspecting Exxon gas station is my personal favorite place to eat in the valley, Basin Burger. First off, I really like the seats with the Route 66 stuff on them, but the burgers and munchers are really freaking good. Also, Hacienda Cuajimalpa, a Mexican restaurant that I've gone to at least once annually, is really good. And that's the food tour segment from the most picky eater on earth. Now entering downtown Driggs, Idaho. This is the 1912 former Driggs Railroad Depot. This was the old Teton County Courthouse built in 1924. A few years ago, the memorials were moved to the Historical Museum, which I have a separate video on, but this Veterans Memorial got placed out front. This is the main intersection in town. My favorite building in town is this one, and that's because it has a majestic fiberglass bison on top overlooking traffic. Across from the Bison building is the Corner Drug. It has some silhouettes of Wild West figures in the second floor windows. It's been in operation for over a hundred years, and along with drugs, they have an old-fashioned soda fountain inside. This is the Driggs City Hall building, which has its own rock climbing wall inside. It is now home to the Teton Geotourism Center, which opened in 2014. It's a combination museum and visitor center for Teton Valley. Geotourism is considered one of the futures of travel. It's basically a type of tourism that can healthily sustain the geographical environment, heritage and culture, along with the health of the region's residents and economy. Even though the frost top mug's a good ways from here, we'll see that in a bit. Teton Valley is very much a land of potatoes, so here's a cool old potato bag. This is a potato picking belt from the 1940s that would have held the potato sacks. 
Here's some ice tongs from the 30s. It gets really, really cold and snowy here for like 9 out of 12 months of the year. The Snake River winds through the valley, so there's fish. Here's some Native American artifacts. There have been humans here for around 13,000 years, and the valley has historically been used as a hunting ground for the Native Americans. Here's some artifacts from the Pierre's Hole Rendezvous site. Some more pioneer artifacts. That's a pioneer waffle iron that's possibly 130 years old. The first white men in the area were the mountain men, hunting primarily beaver in the 1820s and 1830s. Caravans would visit under American and British fur companies, and then they depleted the beaver population like everywhere in the west. That's a hand-forged beaver trap and a beaver musk box, which was used to carry beaver bait. That's a Barnett flintlock trade gun that the mountain men would have been carrying. Some vintage skis and poles from the early 20th century. Grand Targhee Resort is located nearby. You can sit in a dog sled and go for a virtual ride. The footage was taken at Klondike Dreams in West Yellowstone, Montana. I have gone dog sledding there during winter. It was amazing. Outside, there's some junk art animals. Driggs is at an elevation of 6,106 feet. This is the new Teton County Courthouse, built by the Huntsmans. I'm sure they didn't get any favors for that. But for a new courthouse, this one looks pretty nice. This old historical marker is about Pierre's Hole. That's the former name for Teton Valley, and the Pierre's Hole Rendezvous took place somewhere around here between the natives and white fur trappers annually starting in 1829. However, in 1832, the meeting turned into a free-for-all battle between the Gros Ventre and fur trappers. The trappers and their native allies did win. However, 13 of them were killed, and 26 Gros Ventre were killed. This is probably my favorite spot in the valley, the Spud Drive-In Theater. It is a sight to behold, an epic Idaho-themed roadside attraction that's also probably the most unique drive-in movie theater in the world. Out front is Old Murphy, a 1946 Chevrolet flatbed truck carrying a giant potato. There are some potatoes driving Old Murphy. I'm not sure if this is the world's largest potato. The one in Blackfoot at the Idaho Potato Museum might be larger, but it's undoubtedly a pretty big potato. It opened in 1953, a true vintage piece of Americana that has barely survived over the years. And the license plate sign is amazing. It even has Sasquatch on it. There's Pooh Tater. There's two potato people outside of the ticket booth. I have seen films here before, just not this year, but it's a really awesome experience and the interior of the diner is really cool too. So that's one of the ultimate Idaho roadside attractions. Now entering the town of Victor, Idaho, 8 miles south of Driggs. 
Victor isn't as built up as Driggs, yet. The Valley is definitely becoming more popular as Jackson gets more and more expensive. The main attractions in town are these two places. Pierre's Playhouse used to be a melodrama theater, but it's now primarily a movie theater. Next to it is the Victor Emporium, which has been in operation for over 50 years. It's a tourist shop full of souvenirs, and it has a soda fountain, most well known for its huckleberry shakes. My favorite part is the mural on the wall outside. There's all sorts of madness going on, but it's all very relevant to the natural surroundings and culture of the valley. Like this fish and bear sharing a huckleberry shake. So this mural pretty much sums up Teton Valley, and it's why I love this place. Inside, it's mostly souvenirs with the soda fountain in the back. They do have a jackalope mount here. Come on, get me views, please. This is the 1913 Victor Railroad Depot. The building is placed on the National Register of Historic Places. As you can see architecturally, it's very similar to the Driggs station, although this one is quite a bit bigger. This uh, south part right here is the expanded waiting room built in 1928. Hundreds, probably thousands of trains passed right by here a hundred years ago. Here's a historical marker on the Teton Range. The Grand Tetons are the youngest mountains of the Rockies. John Coulter, who was with the Lewis and Clark expedition but stayed out west, was the first white man to discover the valley in 1808. This is the Teton Valley Overlook an absolutely breathtaking view of the Snake River and the Grand Tetons. a little different. 40 miles northeast of Briggs is Ashton, Idaho, which is the home of the Frostop Drive-In, a wonderful eatery here on Route 20. has been beckoning travelers since 1965. And the most unique thing here is they have an original Frostop root beer mug fiberglass sculpture. Now there are a few frost stops still and you can still find a few of these. I've uh, located some not in person yet, but uh, in West Virginia and Louisiana. Um, it used to rotate here too as of two years ago, but it no longer does. And underneath the mug they have a scary looking grizzly bear and a cub. The place was known as Mug Jugs for a time. And the food is really good. Definitely recommend.
that was Teton Valley. Really gonna miss this place, but hopefully I will return sometime. I have filmed other videos on separate attractions in the valley, up in the mountains, across the mountains, and all over the country, so please check out my other videos, and thanks for watching.